Hey guys, I will help you in making a complete Java project. I will guide you step by step from the beginning to the end. First of all, we have to know two things before doing your project. Front end and back end. The front end is nothing but the graphical user interface on which the user works on, and the back end is the storage of the project. Every time when the user works on the graphical user interface, the data will be stored in the back end. As we are going to make a Java project, the front end we have to use is NetBeans. There are two options in selecting the back end. You may select MS Access or MySQL. In this project, I am going to use MySQL as the back First, download the software is NetBeans and MySQL. I have downloaded NetBeans version 7.1 and MySQL version 5.5. First install MySQL 5.5. Click next. I accept. Click next. Select complete and I click install. MySQL server 5.5 is being installed in our computer. Now a new pop-up occurs, click next, again click next, and click finish. Now a new pop-up occurs, select next in that, select next, select next, select next, select next, select next. Here, you have to note down the port number 3306. Now click next. You can click next. Now we have to set a root password. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use A D M I N admin as my root password. You can confirm A D M I N. Now click next. And now select execute. Fine. After installing MySQL, we have to install NetBeans. Now, let's step into the first step of our project. Open MySQL. And enter the password that we have set during the setup. I remember it's admin. A-D-M-I-N. Press enter. Yeah, now we are logged in. The first step is creating the database. Let's create a database named student. See. Fine. We have just created the database named student. You have to use the database. Use student. Then we have to create a table. I am creating the table with the name student1. Create table student1 of the attributes of roll number, name, place, and date of birth. Then we have to insert some values within the student table. We have to be very careful 
when working with SQL file. There are some changes in the syntax. Yeah. We have done the mistake where insert into student values. The table name is student1. Yeah, now it's okay. Fine. To view the data in the database, we can give select. from student one yeah. yes now we have successfully completed half of the project oh, close now open the front end tool NetBeans this and now go to file new project and select Java application and click finish. Now we have to connect the front end and back end and so carefully note down the following right click the application name and select properties in this select libraries and click on add library now search for mysql jdbc driver yeah, here it is please be careful in selecting this Select MySQL JDBC driver and click add library and click OK. Here what you have done is just establish the bridge between the NetBeans and the creator database. Now it's time to design a table frame with a view button so that when we click on the view button the SQL table that we created will be displayed as the output. Fine. Now click on the Java application one within the source package and select new JFrame form. Now click finish. Now, under the swing controls, you search for table. Yeah, here it is. Just drag and drop the table here. Fine. Now, add a button. And just edit the button text to view or anything you want. Edit the table contents. Right click on the table and click on table contents. Select columns and edit here. Roll number. and date of birth fine then click on rows and you can delete the existing rows and you can just insert any number of rows you can also delete the rows okay close The design has been completed. Till now, what we have done is we have created the table, we have connected the SQL table with the NetBeans, then now we have designed a GUI. The next part of our project is to write the coding. The code must load the SQL data and display them 
as the output. This is what we need. Now let's start writing the source code. Click on the source button. Here under the package section and before the class starts we have to import something. We imported the headers. The headers we imported are SQL, swing component and swing table component. That's all about the headers. Next click on the design. Since our aim is to display the SQL database table when the view button is clicked the codings are to be written within the view button only. And then uh, you must click on the view button. You must double click. Here is the J button action performed block. Yeah. This is the place where you have to write the complete codings. And don't change any other parameters. Just write the code here and execute. Since I have already done the code, I am copy pasting the code here. This is our code. You can download the code from the link I have given in the description. Now let's see the codings. Yeah, from here. Table more. Select all from here select all from students students is the table name the table that we have created is student one so select all from student one see here students is the table name then in this line we have imported the jdbc driver this is the syntax we have to learn it then connection yeah here's the connection string the connection string is local as 3306 this is the local as port number that we we might have noted it when we installed the sql we have to insert that port number here it's 3306 and uh, this is the database name our database name is student then root and our password is admin it's all everything has done successfully now we can just check out the output out now right click on the java application and select debug build successful yeah now we can check the output right click on new jframe and select run file yeah here it is click on the view button success what we have entered in the mysql database is displayed here this is our output and our project is please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching bye bye